This is Ross Weatherman from Rose Holman Institute of Technology, and this is a quick little video on how we measure mass uh, in the general chemistry laboratory. So, you know, this is probably something you know how to do, but let's just review uh, some of the particulars and especially some of the policies that will help us uh, keep our balances nice and allow you to get uh, accurate measurements. Okay, so this is our balance. Uh, it goes to the nearest milligram. It has these, as you can see, it has these glass uh, enclosures. It has a lid. And so um, this will be, we have about, you know, six of these on each side. Uh, so there are plenty of things. You'll notice there's also a brush there. There's a number of different things. So the tear button is also the on button. So there's an on off that allows you to turn it on and off. Um, and then, you know, it should be on, if, and so you should be able to press the tear, which will set it to zero with whatever is on there. So we have a lot of labs where we use uh, the balance, and the key is to be efficient about this. And the most efficient, important thing with efficiency is knowing what you need to bring up to your balance each time. And you should have a uh, lab manual, you should have your, you know, spatula that you're going to use to weigh in. We don't have weighing boats typically in general chemistry labs, so you're going to need to bring something to weigh into it, preferably something dry, because having something wet can either get water on the balance or it will distort your values if you have evaporation or anything like that. And then you need to have something to write on. This idea that you'll always remember the number uh, is a little bit flawed. Most people, uh, you know, especially when you start adding all those digits together, start to get confused, and that's a pretty common thing. So have, you know, your Thing you're going to weigh out with, the thing you're going to weigh out into, and then your lab manual on a pen, uh, and then you can walk up and be efficient in your balance uh, operation. Okay, so if you're going to weigh something out, uh, preferably uh, the, the proper way to do this then is to bring all your materials up to the, to the bench. You've got your uh, beaker that you're weighing into, you've got your lab manual, and you've got your spatula, and so then you can place it in there. Now these the sides do come off and there's a little place that you can put them. Um, generally, you know, if you're weighing something big, maybe you need to take it off, but um, we generally like to weigh things with all the lids down. There's a little bit of convection in this lab that does change your measurements. Now, it's only going to change it significantly, you know, in, the, in a few milligrams. So if you're weighing out a large sample, eh, convection doesn't matter that much. But if it's a small sample, it could have a huge effect. Now, if you notice, I'm weighing out off of the balance, okay? So one of the common problems is people just think they can dump it while it's on the balance. That's a recipe for really making a mess on the balance. And so it's better, we have clear plastic there, you can weigh it out, you know, and then if you have to be a little bit more precise, then perhaps you can, can do that. But, you know, for the most part, you can do it outside of the balance. And then you write down your number and you go on. So a lot of times in these labs, sometimes we don't have to have precise numbers. Now the important thing also then is to clean off the balance. So we have brushes there and the problem is the salts will get there and they'll start to corrode, especially if they've been left there. And, and so we, we like to keep these nice. So just a quick brush of that and the clear plastic can be changed later and, and you'll be good to go.